Welcome back, Natalie here, and I am continuing with 31 Reasons Why You not, May Not Be Receiving Your Financial Harvest um, by Mike Murdoch. So, wonderful laws from the Bible um, about creating abundance in your life financially. So, uh, today's lesson is millions refuse to obey the very basic and simple laws of God. So there's some basic simple laws and rules that you should be following in your life in order to receive your financial abundance. So um, I'm gonna read it out of the book today. Um, and this is Isaiah 1, 19 and 20. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. So it's important to just, you know, basic basic things, be a good person, given to others, um, being diligent, working hard. And you may, um, there's one point in here that I thought was really great because every time I talk to people about these kind of subjects, about wealth and abundance, I feel like the one thing that tends to come up a lot is, well, what about the people that are horrible people <laughs> and, you know, they're not serving God and they don't believe in God. Why are they rich? You know, and it's, because they are following the simple, basic principles and laws of God. They may not believe in God and they may not be a person of faith, but if they're following all of these basic principles and they don't have any faith, you know, in God, they're still following the principles. So the principles are still working for them. So if you want to know what the principles are, number one, the principle of work. If you don't work, you're not going to be making money. You got to do something, right? And God says he will honor what, whatever your hands can find. That means whatever you find is something that you love to do with, with your hands, your mouth, your life. Whatever you can find, work it, do it. Put the time and effort in. We are put on this earth so that we can work, so that we can help other people, so that we can enjoy life, so that we can grow and expand. But you can't expect to get nothing, something for nothing. So if you're sitting around and you know, you're not really seeking anything out or you're just doing the minimum amount of work that you need to do to get by and you're expecting all this financial abundance, but you're not really doing anything to work for it, it's not going to happen for you. You know, so, so, you know, the principle of work is, is so simple, but it's powerful. You know, you can't just, you know, pray and think it's a lottery ticket. Um, you know, of course you need to pray, <laughs> but, um, getting to work is super, super important. So work hard or maybe not hard, work smart. <laughs> maybe that's a better, better way of, um, saying it. Second principle, the principle of diligence. So what does it mean to be diligent? Diligent is to have, um, speedy attention to an assigned task. So as you're doing your work, whatever your mission in life is and the assignment where you're meant to be, be diligent about it. Put the time and effort in, do it fast. Be so laser focused on what you love and what you want and how you're gonna create your wealth um, with your God-given talent. If you work diligently, you are fast. You are so focused and so attentive to detail and you do it with a spirit of honor. You're like this, I'm going to do the best I can do and I'm going to do it quickly and I'm going to put the time in. I don't care how late I have to stay up. I don't have, care how early I have to get up in order to get this done because you are diligent about your work and you love your work. That will be honored and you will create abundance through that diligence. Um, so a couple notes on that. Review your master's list of tasks and complete them one by one every single day. Um, so if you've got a list of tasks of things you know you need to do, um, whether it comes from your boss or whether it comes from the things that you need to, ne you know, you need to do for your own business, if you're an entrepreneur, complete those tasks, be diligent about it. Labor for competition, um, labor for completion instead of allowing a project to run on and on. Get your shit done, <laughs> right? <laughs> don't let things linger. Don't be lazy. Don't procrastinate get your work done and do it as soon as you can, that will be rewarded. Pursue correction from the one who assigns your paycheck. So if your paycheck is coming from a boss and they give you 
some feedback on what you could do better or how you could do, be improving your job or maybe you go and ask them for some feedback. Be diligent, go take that and make it better. If you're an entrepreneur, maybe you have a product you're selling or a service, ask, you know, ask your clients and your patients or whoever it is, the people walking in the door, how you can serve them better. What can you do better in your business? What can you do better with your product? What can you do better with your service to satisfy your clients? They are the ones giving you money. So you want to serve them better all the time. Super, super important. Um, accept rebuke with thankfulness instead of retaliation and resentment. So if someone's giving you feedback, whether it's a patient or a client or your boss or your coworkers about your work, don't be resentful. Don't get pissed off and upset that they tried to correct you. Take a moment, don't take it personally and think, okay, where is this coming from? And hey, maybe there is something I, I could do better. You know, maybe they're right. Maybe, maybe there's, there's a seed of truth in that. And also flourish where you are presently working and the news will travel. So um, wherever you are right now, whether it's your God-given assignment or not, work hard. Do your best, be diligent, and that spirit of excellence of, of really you know, digging into your work and, and doing everything you can to be successful, something will come along that's even better. I, I've seen this happen with other people, and with, you know, I, there was a friend actually recently that he got a new job, maybe six months ago or so, um, and he's really good at what he does. And he had other people um, that were scouting him, even in his new job. And his new job, you know, they trained him, they did well, and then he got this job offer and they offered him everything he ever expected. More than, I mean, he asked for things that he never thought he would get. He's like, okay, if, the, if they're asking me what I want out of this job, what do I want financially? What kind of income do I want? They actually found a way to meet all of his needs and he works a spirit of excellence. So it will be rewarded. Um, number three, the principle of wisdom. Uh, so you must be good at what you do. If you've found your passion in your assignment and where you feel you're meant to thrive in life, that God given gift that you've been given that you just love doing, learn and be the best at it. Be the best at what you love doing, because if you're the best at what you love doing, you will be honored and rewarded in return. People are going to come to you because you're the best at what you do. And, and they're going to want to keep giving you money in exchange for your talent um, and, and for the gift that you're giving to the world in whatever area it is. So be knowledgeable, seek out learning and growing all the time, not only in your business and in your skill set, but in life, you know, you want to be a person of wisdom, a person that can, you know, help guide and give advice when it comes to relationships and, you know, how to, um, you know, dispel any arguments within your, your employees or your coworkers and, and just being good at what you do. Wisdom is so important. So if you're always seeking to learn and grow and better yourself, um, that's, that's the principle of wisdom. Uh, so when you find what you love, you will find your wisdom. When you find your wisdom, you will be paid to solve problems with it. So know what you're good at, know what you're passionate about, go for it, learn how you can solve people's problems with your passion and that's how you will get paid and you will get paid abundantly. Um, four, the principle of waiting. <sighs> we tend to be very impatient human beings on this planet, particularly with you know, the media age and the social media and all the content that's out there, everything is quick, 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 instant gratification, but you must be patient and wait and not give up on your dreams, not give up on your work, not give up on your diligence um, and continue to seek everything else while you are waiting and have that expectation because your patience will be rewarded. Five, the principle of mentorship. So those that are truly um, successful, they have someone that is guiding them, that they can you know, learn how to walk in that mentorship's footsteps and, and learn from their mistakes in order to get to the next level. It's so important to have someone that's guiding you. If you're starting a new business that you've never done before and you're an entrepreneur, find someone who's done it, have them help guide you so you can be more successful a lot quicker 
So find a mentorship um, in all areas of your life so that you can improve all areas of your life, but particularly in your work um, as well. Everyone wants a miracle instead of a mentorship. <laughs> you know, mentorship isn't really that, you know, sexy and exciting. We just want a miracle to happen and everything to work out. But God brings you miracles through that mentor. That is how you're going to get the answers to everything that you need, even the questions you didn't know you needed to ask. And quality mentorship is often the biggest miracle you need in your life um, in order to start creating some financial abundance. Um, principle number six is the principle of integrity. So your integrity, if you don't really understand what that concept means, um, when you make a promise to yourself or someone, when you say you're going to do something, you must follow through. You must be you know, have integrity in your word, in your promises, in your mission, in everything, in life. Um, you know, if you say you're going to do something, you need to do it. That is integrity. Integrity is following through with your word. Um, and, and that's so important in so many different ways. It's important in business. It shows that you are trustworthy, that you are honorable, that, um, you know, when you say that you're going to do something and you do it, you are creating your own manifestation in your life. If you say you're going to do something and you don't do it, you're creating a spirit of giving up, a spirit of not following through. So by, by having that spirit of integrity and, and following through with your word and your promises and following through with the visions that you have for your life, if you have visions of great things that you're going to do and you don't follow through with it, you're not, you don't have integrity. Integrity is having a vision of where you want to be in life and making it happen and going for it. If you have a vision of wonderful things happening in your life, of this beautiful career, of being all that you can be, of having wonderful relationships, and you don't go out and make that happen, you don't have integrity. And that's huge. I feel like this is one place where many people fall short. Have integrity. Do it for yourself, <laughs> you know, if anything else, do it for you because it is so rewarding and God will reward you for having integrity in your life. Um, so that is the six principles, um, the basic principles, the principle of work, the principle of diligence, the principle of wisdom, the principle of waiting, the principle of mentorship, and the principle of integrity. So if you follow anyone who follows those six principles that God has given us, the basic principles, you will be successful. You will find your financial abundance. You will work hard for what you want and you will love what you do and it will be so rewarding. You will give so much, you will receive so much and it is a way to create a truly fulfilling life. Not a life of instant gratification that is fleeting, but a life of true fulfillment. Okay, uh, this one was a little bit longer, but I hope this brought you a lot of inspiration because I think these, these six basic principles are so absolutely important. If anything else, this may be the one video that you wanna watch out of all the 31 principles. All of them are important, but this one has a lot, you know, a lot of meat to it. So um, please share this video with anyone that you think may get a lot out of it. Um, and start to apply these, these basic principles into your life and start to really self-analyze. Am I following through with all these principles? And if not, where can you improve so that you start to create more financial abundance in your life? So I would love to hear from you. Feel free to comment. Um, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next, um, the next principle and the next law um, about how to create more financial abundance in your life. Uh, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned. God bless.